Good morning, it's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK coming to you from a yeah, rather overcast uh, Lincolnshire on this, what day of the week is it? Goodness, it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, this probably won't be coming to you until the weekend I would think. So, hope you're all well. Welcome everybody, new uh, new visitors and those who have been with me a while. So today I'm going to do a little bit of um, napkin decoupage. I've got a few napkins here that I'd like to get um, onto some pages so that they're ready for me to use whenever. I, um, I've got a book that I'm going to use the pages off to put it on and I've got a book to share with you um, that I got at the local um, Oxfam bookshop last weekend. Okay so it's quite an old one as you can see it's it's got 1871 written on there um, but I'm not sure that that's the age of the book. It is from the 1800s. Um, I've researched it a little bit, but not very much at the moment. There's not an awful lot a about it. Um, but I just loved, loved these ridges on here. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to save the, um, the cover to make um, you know, a nice big journal, but obviously it needs a lot of work on it. Um, but I loved it when I saw the like the marbling edge of the pages. I don't know if, if the camera's actually picking that up or not, but it's got some beautiful, um, uh, yeah, five pages in it, as you can, that's the same pattern that gets, kind of goes down through the pages there. But also, I mean, you can see it's, it's taking itself apart at the minute, but also look at the beautiful foxing in there. And I'm thinking that I might even photocopy or even scan in some of the foxed pages let's turn to the back as well you know when it's real true and there's no smell sometimes you get a smell to a book that's like this but there isn't it's beautiful just gorgeous okay so the pages are like I mean it's a nice big book as well the pages have got like um a pinkish I want to say hue to them and they're reasonably thick as well you know so they're going to come in for thousands of different projects but I'll probably just admire it for a month or two <coughs> goodness before I actually do anything with it but um, it wasn't that expensive that is what I paid for it 6.99 which considering the size of the book and how many hundreds of pages are in it and the cover that I'm going to get from it yeah just thought I'd share that with you right so the book that I am currently tearing pages out of and working on is a you can see a pound charity bookshop pound which is a reader's digest encyclopedic dictionary volume three and you can see all the things it's got it's got some really interesting things um when you start opening it and reading it you get lost but the pages in it are um yeah i mean it's got some lovely that's embossed that's an embossed page but the, you know it's not old no age to it particularly but they're just interesting interesting pages and thick enough to work with and you know for a pound a lot of them so after i've got some out ready for use today no oh, they're good books for flattening things as well so yeah, I thought I'd do a few of these pages um, just to have them ready to go. I was thinking about I could do with some flower fairies on some, I quite like that one, on some uh, napkin decoupage pages and they're always handy to just keep. I found one with some mushrooms on look and I've just pulled it out. I'm going to keep that. Sorry that was a bit quick. And then I wondered, just in the... Uh, in the vein of having some fun or trying something new. I'm going to try and decoupage over this um, poem from the big flower fairy treasury and see what that comes out like. I might be able to put flower fairy on the front of it, that might be good. Okay, so um, I've got a magazine here that I'm going to take the cover off to Mod Podge on, as it were. Let's do one at a time. So um, you've probably seen this done loads of times. This is just a nice, easy uh, crafting morning for me. So when I finish with my Mod Podge, which I mix with water, I always pour it into into here. 
and save it I don't waste any of it so I think I'll just put a little bit more of this in there thicken it up because with that screw screw top it never uh, it never dries up or oops stop please stop <laughs> and the screw top doesn't stick on or anything like that right I've got any, I've got a lot there <laughs> I might have to go on afterwards when I finish filming and decoupage some more. Oh, lovely. This, this reminds me of art time at, at little school. <laughs> we used to get the brushes out and the glue and the paints. I think I'll go with this beautiful turquoisey one to start with. So, um, no rhyme and reason of what I'm going to make with them particularly or how I'm going to put them down or anything just nice in having fun playing with my my tissues okay so I'm just using a little bit of has that got another one on it's hard to tell washi tape I think it has that's it which I find gentler than um, you know parcel tape sellotape to take the backing off and I'm not keeping the back in because I just don't have room to store something that I'm not going to use for. Well, I'll probably never use it, let's be honest. Oops. Yep, so this is me sitting down first thing in the morning at my craft table. So once again, I'm not really warmed up yet. I should come on and do something first, shouldn't I, before I film, but get up and think right what do I want to do today what's calling me today and then I turn the camera on and do it okay so they're they're going to be upside down if I just put them on like that which I suppose I could you know I could then cut them out in the squares I guess couldn't I what do I think or am I going to yeah because I'll probably only use one Will they fit? Yeah, I'll probably only use one at a time. I'm going to cut it in half if I can locate my scissors. Because <coughs> I don't want to waste any. So I don't want half a bird and then discover I can't use it because it's just got a bird's head or something on it. So. <coughs> Oops. Let's have them the right way up on the on the um <laughs> goodness me on the paper there we go oh he's a sweet little one isn't he oh so the count they're like mirror images of each other right i'm gonna yeah i want that strip in the middle i quite like it or do i want a bird on each piece of the i'm messing about now i know yeah I'm going to cut a strip out because I do want it and I'm going to stick it on but I want it's kind of up the middle of the page there so it's on blank paper so it won't be quite so exciting I'd rather have it stuck on oops that's it because I've got plenty of book pages you've seen that's it so that's got full book page behind it and then I can put these on another book page yeah so last time I did this with Mod Podge I, um, I put the second coat on the top while the uh, the bottom coat was still wet and it moved about no not the last time the last time I did it on film I should say and uh, somebody said to me if you let it completely dry and do your second coat it comes out much better which I did off film <laughs> obviously it came out beautiful because I wasn't on film so that's what I'm going to do this time so I guess really whoops all you're going to see me do is put it down and um, what I am going to do is do a couple with my glue stick as well which um, I find easier to do but obviously when the Mod Podge is dry and down and done see my temptation has to go straight over that with the brush um, but if you just leave it leave it to dry 
and then go over it with the brush you get a really good result so it's that that much stronger because it's got the two coats on it and um, it's protected because it's got the Mod Podge on the top so it's not very exciting <laughs> to see but I will come back on and and do it with you finish them off with you but it won't be today husband's off work for a couple of days so we'll be busy what are you doing well some visiting some out and about not necessarily of people but of places and uh, yeah obviously a few chores that we have to do when we're together oops shopping and such like Ooh. I probably don't do this often enough well, the first one went on beautiful this one doesn't want to perhaps if I had a cloth no. perhaps if I used the backing Podge is really sticky now on the back of the yeah so I've got a few coming apart on me I've got a few wrinkles and crinkles on that one it will still be good though go under there with that that's it so I've got the whole page to play with yep yeah, pop those on one side to dry and you can start to see the, the book page through it already. They're pretty. Um, I will do that one again in a moment. Oh, look at that. Yeah, what shall we have over that? Hmm, I've got some nice music um, napkins. If I haven't brought them with me, I think I'll save that one. I think that'll be nice with some music over it. I think these floral ones are better with the... Ew. Ew, millipedes. Yeah, let's go over that one. We've got a shrimp, but... So I'll do one more with the uh, Mod Podge, and then I'm going to do a couple with the glue stick. Right, so I think I can probably just about do the whole page with this one. Let's cut it. Oh, I'm going to cut right through a butterfly. Let's do it that way. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's going to be nice on the flower fairy. <laughs> Sorry guys, messing you about on the flower fairy page so this is a bird one again yeah so that is completely a different pattern all the way across there so it's just half half the napkin is a pattern oops beautiful I don't know are they blue tips I think they might be yeah I'll have it down the bottom I think I'm not bothered about that space station in the middle of me uh, decoupage <laughs> take this bit off here Right, I don't know what I did with my piece of washi tape now. I am using this one up, so <laughs> I'm practically at the end. I'll have another piece. It's only a tiny piece. There we go. There's one. So guys, I hope you're all well. And enjoy the summer that's 
leaving us quickly. Well, it is here in the UK. I don't know about where you are, of course. Some of you will be in winter, no doubt. But uh, if you've got the summer weather, I hope you're enjoying it. After last year's, uh, well, we shouldn't mention it really, should we? But we kind of all missed last year. I'm just going to go around, not quite to the edge. I think that I've maybe made that a little bit thicker than, than usual, but it'll all give it strength. Gluing on my mat. Whoops. Oh, don't spill my cup of tea. Yes, I think we can safely say that's going to stick. Plenty on there. Um, once again, I know you hear me say it all the time, but I am. Uh, what am I going to put that on? I am working around <laughs> the tripod. Maybe I should add a, a shorter glue stick. Uh, glue stick paint brush is what I was trying to say. Right, let's try and start with one end and do it. Oops, so I'm going, I'm going off sideways but I'm not going to change it. Just, just kept it on. Now I'm thinking I could put that little strip up the top of there, couldn't I? That's going to be a pretty one really like that a really gentle pink hue behind it. Yeah, let's put that up there. And there very probably is enough on my brush. Which will save me washing good glue away. That's it. That's going to be pretty. Let's start at that end. Oh! Stuck myself to it. Oh yeah, I like that. That's going to make a really nice border. Love that piece. This is the trouble, I can't wait. See, I've got to wait for that to dry to mod podge it again. But I'm going to, to get the best, uh, the best results, but yeah. Lovely. Pleased with that one. Okay guys, so thank you for sitting here and keeping me company while I do this. It's lovely to have somebody to chat to. Even though I can't hear you chatting back. <laughs> right, what did I say this? So we've got the Song of Apple Blossom. What's on the other side? White bindweed. No, I don't like the sound of bindweed. <laughs> right, so I probably only want it. How wide is it? Probably only want it over the actual poem, really. Although we've got that little fairy up there. Or a square. I think a square might just cover the poem. Because if it comes out, I like it really nice. Then uh, <coughs> I can do four more with this one napkin. So... Oh. More fingers and thumbs this morning. Is there another one on there? Looks a bit thin. Yep, there is. <laughs> it's always a worry in case you actually rip the napkin itself. Um, I've never had one that's only two ply, but I have seen people, other people on YouTube. Did I cut the others before I took the back off? I think I probably did, didn't I? might keep it a bit safer might it so am I stuck on the glue with it now that's it that'll keep the other two together yeah I think that's going to be nice through there lovely so I found another use for my um, script pages, text pages on the, the butterfly the right way up. Oh, I really like that. 
Oh, good. I'm easy pleased, aren't I? Yeah, another use for all, because God knows I've got a lot of these. Because I've had two books of each one. So you can imagine how many of these pages I've got. Um, actually, I must tear them out because they're kind of still in the book, a lot of them. Yeah, so I've kind of overdone that a little bit. <laughs> Just for a change. No, don't do that. Cute. Right, where's the one with the white cream butterfly that I had? Lost it. It's there. There it is. I'm not too far down there. Yeah, I am definitely liking that. Especially the fact that the word fair is there is on full view. There's very little around it. Well, they're going to make some lovely um, tags and cards and things. I right, can't help myself. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to tickle at the edges. Stop it curling up as it dries. Oh, I think I'm, if I can reach another page, I'm going to do another one of those. Because when it dries, I'm going to wish I had. Um, oh, no, I can't. I'm right across the other side of the room, which will mean moving you. So I won't. Oh yeah, right, now I brought, I also brought, um, I don't know if you remember, I made a master board with um, music paper, yeah, he was shouting at me, music paper only, and it's really old, out of copyright music, um, so it's okay to scan and use, but I've just photocopied a couple of pieces, one on white paper and one on cream, and I'm wondering about putting a piece on a piece of that. Which is the right way up? There's a butterfly. But butterflies fly all over, don't they? I don't think it matters. Um, I'm going to put it on and see. So um, I'm going to put this one on with glue stick because it's in check printer. So it may well run. Why do I want it about there? Might as well save that piece or something. Yeah, it may well run when it's wet with the Mod Podge. So. Um, how high up did I go? About there. The birds are waking up and... Well, they're not waking up. They must have been awake a long time. But uh, breaking into song, which is lovely. I don't know if you can hear them. Over my banging the glue. <laughs> over at the bottom there it is. Never mind, never mind. Stuck to me. Yeah I'm really liking this napkin, whatever I put it on. I'm just going to take the gluey edge off. Otherwise, I end up sticking it to all sorts of things while it's drying. Get that in the bin. That glueiness. 
I'm starting to get a bit gluey on that as well. If it's not glaring. Yeah, I like that as well. It's not quite down there, but it's on white. Mmm, lovely, that's four. Right. I do the rest of this one. I really liked this one. Shall we do this one on them? So I might just do some single pages, even though it's a double um, picture right across because I don't want all these pictures in it. So that's a nice one. I want one more. That one. So I'm just going to do these two with glue stick. And then I'll, we'll have a look at what we've done and I'll call it a day for the, because um, then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight individual pages, which will keep me going a little while. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. The whole thing's going to come up for me, that's nice. Lovely. Just do one at a time, I think. I won't get it. I want you on the top half. Yep. The planets. Oops. How far down did I go? I can't remember. So I think by the time you see this one, I should have started showing you the Flower Fairy journals, I hope, <laughs> or started creating them. I can't show you them because I haven't made them yet. So some of these will be used for ephemera, Oops. for those journals. and. Um, will be the last of my summary summary journals we're then heading to well winter is my favorite um, journal making time so um, you know I may do a, um, an autumn fall one I might do two but possibly only one yeah like that um, what else shall I put on this as a blue one and then it'll be on to the winter ones and I'm going to make a lot of winter journals so um, winter and Christmas both so the sooner I get started on those probably the better so if that's your thing watch this space we'll soon be there um, obviously I've done the one Christmas journal already for the uh, Sweet Pea Papers and Kayan Young collaboration the Christmas in July collaboration um, but I'll be doing a lot more journals between now and Christmas so I think I'll start with some December dailies Oops. and go from there a bit um, oriental colors these with the the blue I think that turquoisey greeny blue and the uh, cherry blossom coloured flowers I don't think it is cherry blossom but I'm pretty sure it's not but it's the same colour yeah it's a lot cleaner and uh, easier to touch with the glue stick I have to say now, I'm wondering if you could glue stick the bottom and then mod podge the top I might try that when it's dry and a couple of those okay so I'll stop there I know I haven't been on long, but after some of the long ones you've had in the week, that's probably a relief. And I'll just grab what we've done. Oh. 
Okay. So this one. Yeah, that re that's really showing the pink hue up, and I love that. Got another one though somewhere, haven't I? I'll put that on, I think, before I put the glue stick at uh, Mod Podge away. Yep. And then, well, they're not in the order we did them. Yeah, so you can see how that paper's wrinkling. I think it will straighten out again as it dries. I'll put it under a couple of those heavy books. And you can really read that poem through there, so I'm really pleased with that one. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's the first glue stick one we did. We said that way, didn't we? That was a glue stick one. So they look nicer at the minute because the Mod Podge is such a wet glue. You know, it's wrinkly, etc. But when it dries out, it shouldn't be. Um, another glue stick one. Yeah, and you can touch them straight away. And the Mod Podge one. Okay, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. Um, more videos tomorrow, so please come and join me. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye for now.